The SSRL is a really powerful X-ray source and can provide information at both the atomic and at the molecular level for any visiting researcher. But there's many different types of researchers who come here who have specialties in biology and in chemistry, in nanotechnology, and in new materials. My role within the group is to not only provide user support for visiting researchers from across the country, but I also like to play with a lot of different projects that we have going on at SSRL to keep us at the state of the art of macromolecular crystallography. The inherent nature of x-rays allows scientists to look very closely at detail like structure and chemistry of their system or their sample. X-rays interact with atoms in such a way that we can gain that kind of detailed information, including the exact location of atoms and how they move over time. This kind of information allows scientists to understand not only the shape of how things are, but how it interacts with other material, and then gives them insight on how it can change over time, the dynamics, and how to engineer those dynamics. For the past three months, our focus has been in providing beamlines and research for people who are studying COVID-19. It's been very important to us, but it's also changed the way that we operate, not for users, but for us staff. So our facilities have implemented measures to make sure that we are socially distant and also that our facilities are clean and safe for the workers who go on site. For our users, however, not a lot has changed. Our users are about 99% remote users, which means they collect their data from the safety of their home or their home institution. This is enabled by the fact that our facility is completely automated. Once we put our samples into um, our system, everything that needs to be done can be done remotely. Our job as some of the on-site staff is to make sure that this kind of capability is running smoothly for our users and to provide technical advice on data collection and analysis. Gaining the atomic resolution structures of a sample or of a system is only one small step in the large scientific journey. Researchers will bring their projects or systems to our facility to gain insight that is really important for the next step, which would be developing vaccines or drug treatments, or to provide a more detailed understanding of how this virus enters and reproduces within our cells. But this entire journey requires a lot of collaboration and a wide variety of expertise, including biology, chemistry, physics, engineering, um, computer science, the list goes on. So it's a highly collaborative environment and requires a lot of different expertise.